Thank yeah. you, Senator Leahy Senator and Senator Leahy. Durbin. We invite you to share your comments. Thank you. What an honor it is to be here today. Just a few weeks ago, when I was on the island of Lesvos out in Greece and met first uh, those who were all along the roads, walking with their families, they just made a perilous trip across the Aegean Sea from Turkey into Greece in the hopes that they could escape the war in Syria and Iraq and find safety for their kids. It really was an eye-opener to see them, husbands and wives and small children, mothers carrying their babies with backpacks containing all that they owned on this earth. They were looking for safety. First and foremost, they were looking for safety. I talked to some of them in the camps uh, and heard their stories, and they were heartbreaking stories of children dying uh, during the course of the war in Syria, of the victims of the barrel bombs, and they were praying for an opportunity to be in a safe place with their kids. The same thing each and every one of us as parents and grandparents pray for every single day. Pope Francis visited us just a few weeks ago. It was an exciting day on Capitol Hill. I'd never seen anything quite like it. They closed down the Capitol for a full day so that security would be just right. And we all kind of hoped, just prayed, that before he left we'd get one photograph with this amazing man, this church leader. Politicians do that, you know. We pose for holy pictures. Sadly, many of the people who were posing for holy pictures that day forgot his message when he came to this joint session of Congress. It was a message to remind us that we are a nation of immigrants, as his nation was a nation of immigrants, and that part of our responsibility is to welcome the stranger. Many of the p same people who posed for those pictures with the Pope were quick to vote just a few weeks ago to shun refugees seeking refuge in the United States. But there's good news. Abraham Lincoln, when he was once accused of changing his mind on a political issue, said, I'd rather be right some of the time than wrong all the time. <laughs> and the good news is that many of those who voted just two or three weeks ago in the House to shun these refugees are now publicly recanting on both sides of the aisle. They've reflected on it, and they realize the reality. The last point I'd like to make is this. There are certain iconic photos in our minds that none of us can ever forget. Who can ever forget those images from Vietnam of the little girl covered in napalm, running, screaming down the road, or the mayor being shot in the head? Those are things that live with you for a lifetime. My iconic image of the war in Syria and the plight of the refugees is that little boy face down in the water of the Aegean Sea, trying to make it to safety, who fell out of the boat. I saw those boats, those risky boats that they cross in, paying a thousand euros apiece to make that eight mile journey. I saw what they used for life preservers for those little babies. Do you know what they use? The water wings that you give your kids at the swimming pool. That's all they have for the tiniest. And I think of that image every time I think of those who would turn these people away in the name of keeping America safe. We can keep America safe, and we can keep our values safe by receiving and accepting these refugees. Thank you, Jack.